Welcome everyone. Today we're going to work on building a template for a trifold brochure in Adobe InDesign. So I'm going to show you how to get your document properly set up. And what I mean by properly set up, a trifold brochure does not have just six equal pages. We actually have to make one of the panels slightly shorter to ensure it fits inside of your trifold brochure. In our document here where I'm showing it, you'll notice our back left panel is slightly smaller. It's 3.625 versus the 3.6875 inches for the rest of the document. Now, we're gonna get this set up in Adobe InDesign, so let's go ahead and jump over there and let's get started with a new document. So, first things first, I've already done it once, but we need to change our units. Our units, we need to set them to inches. And in inches, we're gonna go ahead and give it the width of 3.6875. We're gonna give it a height of 8.5. We're gonna tell it to be six pages because we actually have six panels. We're gonna give it a margin. And I'm gonna go ahead and change our margin here. I'm gonna make it a quarter of an inch because I just want that safe area for the body text. And we're gonna make sure we have our bleed set to 0.125, an eighth of an inch. And we're gonna go ahead and hit create. So you notice in InDesign, we already have our six panels. And first things first, we're gonna go ahead and modify some of our sizes. So if we look back at our template, the back left panel should be 3.625. So that is page number one. We're gonna go down to the bottom here and we're gonna give it a custom page size. And we're gonna change this to 3.625. We're also going to do this on page one, two, three, four, five, oh, page six, we're gonna do the same thing. So go ahead down to page six, edit that page size, give it a custom one of 3.625, and there you go. So now we have all of our panels set up, but now we need to set up our spread so they sit the way we expect. So first things first, we need to lock the position of page one. So to do that, you right click on page one, and you uncheck allow selected spread to shuffle and this will lock it in its current position. So when we uncheck that, we can grab panel two, we can put it up next to it, and we can grab panel three and put that up next to it. So you notice my first spread, I have my three panels, one, two, and three, and I know this one is shorter because I just made it shorter and if I click on that one panel, and I go to my page size, I can see it is slightly shorter. We're gonna do the same with panel four. We're gonna go ahead and lock it. So uncheck allow selected spread to shuffle and move the other two up next to it. One, two, and now we have created a quick and easy template for our trifold brochure. Now you are going to go ahead and design your content we have the margins inside, use those as your safe zone. Don't let your body text go over the fold. If you have bigger headlines, things like that, and you wanna go over the fold, that's perfectly fine, but don't let the body text go over this fold line. Your graphics can go over it, things like that. You just be mindful, that is where it's folding. Um, the other hint I'll give you is, how do we export this file so we see the spreads? Well, you're going to go file, export, and you're gonna go ahead, give it the names and everything, you're gonna hit save. And right here, you can choose your pre PDF quality. I'm gonna say high quality print, just for what we're doing. If you're going to actual press, you could say press quality, but high quality print works for me. We are gonna make sure we're gonna export as spreads. So this is the most important one, that way it does our spreads. And for me, I also want all the printer marks, and I also want you to use document bleed settings, because I wanna make sure that you understand how to use bleeds. And last little tip, if you don't know how to use bleeds, bleeds means if we're doing anything of color, so we're going to drag our color all the way out to the edge, you have to take it all the way out to your bleed line because that will be cut off to make a nice full bleed artwork. So I hope this helps you. Let me know if you have any issues.